Hello everyone, my name is Cynthia and today I am here to film a plan with me beginning Monday, July 2nd and ending Sunday, July 8th, 2018. I am planning in an Erin Condren colorful hourly life planner with a rose gold coil and this is the 2018 Painted Petals edition. So this week does include the 4th of July, but I'm using a printable kit that I've never um, I've never used anything from her shop before, so I'm excited to try that. It is not a patriotic kit, and, and that's not for any sort of political reason. I'm just not really a red, white, and blue uh, patriotic sort of person. I am, however, a Star Wars nerd. So I found this kit from Erica G Designs, and it is called something Galaxy, I think. Anyway, it's really pretty. Um, just to walk you through her setup, this is an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. You see, I left my registration marks uh, on there. I didn't make this pretty for the video or anything like that. But you get date covers, uh, date dots, flags, glitter headers, full uh, six ombre heart checklists with this galaxy pattern, weekend banner, and a payday flag, headings, some little things, some more headings larger flags, three heart ombre heart checklists. Uh, you get a washi page and full boxes. And the Darth Vader didn't come out super well. I printed this several times and I just can't get it to work. So he'll be the one I skip, which is okay. There are some functional stickers along the side. And then you get your half boxes, quarter boxes, flags, weekly checklist, some bow head air thingies, which are super duper cute. Some looks like hand drawn icons and then more icons along the side here. So I think this will be fun. I have, uh, like I said, never used an Erica G designs anything before, though I've heard people talk about her. So I'm gonna flip my planner upside down. I did have a little bit of trouble with the silhouette files with this, and that was probably operator error on my part. They, uh, I had to do a lot of like resizing to get them to print right. Um, and I did decide to go with this. Um, I wanted to do it when Solo opened in May, but the color just didn't work. And this looks really good with the navy. So I always start with washi. And because I forgot to mention these stickers I made myself, these stickers along the bottom are Peaceful Mind Design Wacky Holidays. And because those are there, I am... I'm going to install the washi up on the top. You guys may have noticed if you watch my videos for any length of time that I have a real hard time talking and doing something at the same time. Like I can't talk and write, I can't talk and lay down washi. So yeah, multitasking is sometimes hard. She also has these pretty time strips, which I kind of thought maybe I would put somewhere. I'm not sure yet. I'm not gonna do anything right this second. But uh, but those are certainly something I think I'm going to use because I like them. In terms of glitter headers, I do use glitter headers in my sidebar as spacers. So let's do the sidebar first. We're going to try to figure out the camera situation. I think we've got another theory that we're trying out, which is that maybe the camera doesn't like MOV files. I'm not sure. Okay, so for glitter headers, I think I'm going to stick with the darker blue. This light blue is really pretty also, but I uh, want this to kind of look like space, <laughs> right? Yes, there's habit trackers. Okay, hooray. So the habit trackers don't match the weekly box, which kind of bums me out. I do like those to be the same, but we'll make it work. And my wacky holidays and my keep calm box obviously don't match this but that's all right i did make those uh quite a long time ago these keep calm stickers and i made them um with our previous academic calendar in mind and then that got changed so all right i'm going to go for the deep blue habit tracker here and I am almost done with my, this sticker paper I bought um, before I knew to look for people's referrals on sticker paper. And the quality is nice, but it's super duper sticky. 
and um, it, it prints inconsistently. And I can't figure out why I can print the same file on two different days and get such different results. So I know at some point I need to just invest in a pretty color laser printer, but I haven't done it yet. This is an inkjet. It's a Canon multifunction device. It's a, I don't remember, 4650 maybe? Okay, that's cute. Okay, and since the weekly box is, well, my options for weekly boxes are dark purple or black. I think I've discovered enough with this planner to know that black is not going to be a good, yeah, black doesn't do well on my printer. So we're going to go with the dark purple. And I said, then I'm going to try to make everything match a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and use the dark purple ombre heart checklist and headings. Okay. I'm just going to go with this week for dinners. And then the purple again. And yeah, it's really pretty. It's such a deep purple. One of my favorite nail polishes, you guys, is from OPI. It's called uh, Cosmo with a Twist. And it's a very deep purpley navy color. Um, the next time I wear it in a video, I'll, I'll mention it. But this kit picks up all of the things that I love about that nail polish. Okay, and I'll just put a glitter header at the bottom. And we have a sidebar. Whoops, wrong way. It was getting better for a while. Okay, so already that's really cute. As you can see, I have two full day shifts and one half day shift which means that I have a little bit more uh, wiggle room in terms of how I set up my schedule. I do want to make sure I put in my workouts for this week. And for those, I use Little Miss Papery workout labels. I am going to use this navy color because I think that's really pretty. Um, okay. And since my gym at, at work is back open, my gym days are usually Monday and Wednesday, and when I have this 10.30 to 2.30 shift, it kind of stinks. I, I can't get there and back before 10.30, so I will plan on an afternoon workout. I will go to work, clear off my desk. I do teach in the summer, but I teach online, so that means that I don't have an on-campus presence required. But I still go two days a week, just mostly... Um, because I'm a creature who likes things consistent. Maybe a quarter box. Yeah, we're going to grab just a quarter box to mark this uh, go to work, do the work, and then go to the gym. Because I don't have to go long. I just go clear off my desk, check my mail, make sure everything is okay. If, uh, if there are things to, to deal with, I deal with them. But yeah, that's really cute. I will also work out um, the 4th of July campus will be closed. So, so will my gym, actually. So it looks like I will have to plan my next trip to the gym when it happens. It might be that I do that on the 5th. I'm kind of inclined to do it that way. So what I'm going to do is just grab another... I'll grab a quarter or half box this time. I'm not going to be in any real hurry to get there, so. Let's see, 8.30-ish. Okay, so that'll be a work. And then we'll put a workout right below it. Okay, I want to move this up a little bit. I like how it looks when the script overlaps just a teensy bit. Okay, yeah, that's cute. And maybe I'll go this weekend, uh, but I'm not sure yet. So I'm not going to plan it if I don't know. Okay, and on Monday morning, 
for my classes, I do have a little list of things that I need to do. So I think what I'm going to do is grab one of these three heart ombre stickers. Yeah, and my pre-planning, you can't see is right off camera here. It does have these three things. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this. Right here. Okay. Yeah, so I think the kit is super cute. I think the, let me flip this around. So that's not straight. No, it isn't. The issues that I had with this um, were mostly with my printer and the fact that I had to, like I said, I had to fight a little bit um, with the cut file, but it was worth it. It's really, really pretty. All right, that looks super pretty. Okay, and then Saturday evening, of course, I do have church, which I have every week. So there are only four sheets here, and yet I'm, I'm just not familiar with the layout. So I'm sorry for all the fumbling around. Okay, and I think maybe for church, I'm just going to grab a plain, yeah, plain purple quarter box. Super cute. And then I'll need my midweek checklist. But I think I'm going to carry the purple through, actually. I'm going to grab this purple one here. Put this here. And I think I'm going to grab just a today sticker for that. Yeah, I don't want it to match, so I grabbed a today. And then Sunday, I'm going to use another one of my checklists, right? Kind of like I do during the regular semester, because for the next couple of weeks, the class that I'm taking is still running, and the classes that I'm teaching, all four of them are running. So for the next few weeks, it's going to be kind of crazy until, until the class that I'm taking ends, which is on July Two weeks from today, July 23rd, I think is the last day. Three weeks from today. Yeah, three weeks from today. So yeah, it's in like three weeks. Okay, so there's our today. That's really cute. Okay, and I also need to write. I'm going to use a quarter box for that. I put that on Sunday morning. Get back to doing that regularly. Uh, ironing does still go on Monday afternoon, and for that, I think I will go ahead and use, I have, you know, quarter boxes, but I think I want to use one of these guys, these um, appointment labels, only because they're just so cute. Yeah, I'm going to grab a blue one, the lighter blue. And this is, I think I mentioned, this is a vertical kit. So the stickers on the hourly or the columns on the hourly are a little wider. So you have to kind of center it or decide, like I, I tend to, like I know I'm going to put an ironing icon on this one. So this one I'm going to go ahead and just do flush right, but straight, hopefully. Yeah, because I know I'm going to put the little iron right there, so that will hide that. So yeah, this is like a day off, actually. And, oh, I wanna put down the weekend banner. Her weekend banner is really cute. Uh, this weekend, it does not look like right now that I'm working at all. Okay, yeah, I, I tend not to use the weekend banners a whole lot, but I really like that one. So yeah, I'm really liking the way this is looking. I think I want to grab, for sure, the Princess Leia full box. I kind of want to just put her like, randomly. Let's put her down here just to, because it's so cute, I have to use it. And it does kind of break up that space, which is adorable. And I'm not sure about the rest. Like I kind of want to put a little Han Solo in there too, but 
It is, however, the first weekend of the month, so I will be doing sheets and bedding. So what I think I'm gonna do is grab, there's this little like half box of washi. I'm gonna put this down on the Sunday just to kind of give myself a little background for some of my Sunday morning tasks. And I could make like a little washi scene out of it, I suppose, because there are these little washi strips here. But what would be ideal is if there were just like a plain big box of stars and things. Um, okay, so since I will be on campus Monday and Thursday, I will do my work backup on Monday. And my the way I mark my backups are with these little Miss Papery stickers. These say charge and they're super adorable. I also have, and I haven't used them yet, so maybe I'll do one of each. These are from Sweet Kawaii Design. It says time to recharge. So I'm gonna put this one on Saturday, because I do that every Saturday morning. I've been doing it every Saturday morning forever. And these time to recharge, I'm gonna go ahead and just put this right up. Oh yeah, it's cute. It's very small. These are Sweet Kawaii Design stickers are kind of a vinyl. And for my church, I do have these really cute rosary stickers from the Rabbit Tribe. And I'm gonna go ahead and just use one of those. Um, I keep meaning to look and see if these are still in the shop. Cause I, rosaries are a Catholic thing and I like them. I like to mark that that way. My town does have its farmer's market on Thursday. And it's at the point now where they're starting to have some cool stuff. You know, cause it takes a while for things to grow. I'm not a farmer, but I even I know that. Um, and I think that's always on Thursdays. So I think I want to mark that this time. Yeah, I'm going to be daring and grab this black half box. It starts at 4.30. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down here. They do have... Um, Oops, music in the park after also. And if it's not too hot, I sometimes stay for that. Okay, and then my farmer's market stickers are from Planner-esque. They're really cute. I'm gonna grab the navy one right here. Okay, yeah, I like that. Like I love those more than I thought I would, you guys. And since I am working a full day shift on Friday, I will have to grocery shop either Thursday afternoon or, you know what, maybe I'll do that on my way home from work. That's a good time for that. Because grocery shopping is not one of my five favorite activities, but I found that if I do it, if I do it at off times, Right, like a Thursday afternoon, it's really not bad. There's not a lot of people there, and I, I prefer that. That makes grocery shopping, for me, a much more pleasant experience. So I'm trying to look. I don't see any grocery. Oh, there's a little grocery cart icon, so maybe we'll use the one from the kit. And this won't be a super big grocery week. So I tend to do my bigger grocery shopping weekend, weeks um, on my payday weeks. This isn't that, so. Let's go ahead and just put down the little grocery cart. Okay, that's adorable. Okay, so for my ironing, I have three options. I have these Peaceful Mind Design iron stickers. I have these Sweet Kawaii Design iron stickers, and I have these Planner Kate Ironing Day. And I think for this, I'm gonna go ahead and just grab the blue one. It's a Peaceful Mind Design. Put that right here. Maybe not. I think I need something a little bigger. So I'm going to grab a sweet kawaii design. I'm going to grab the purple one. Yeah, that's better. 
because I wanted to disguise the fact that there's that, bl that blank spot there, and uh, that's really adorable. I need to film my plan with me. Maybe I will do my plan with me on Wednesday. Yeah, since I have a big swath of time there, that's kind of early for me to do a plan with me, but that's okay. And for that, I'm gonna use these little three heart checklists just because these are cute and I've never used one. So I'll plan to do that in the morning. And then, you guys, I'm gonna use one of these bow separator things. Oh yeah. Okay, that's really cute. And if you're like, if this is making you nuts, fret not because I have my Peaceful Mind Design plan stickers that I use. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a blue one. Put that right here. Oh my gosh. Adorableness. I have these little planner stickers also from Peaceful Mind Design and I do want to make sure I do my planner update. So I'm going to grab the light purple one and just put that as part of the, my midweek update is what that is, is updating my planner. Okay, and then I have these sticker sys film edit and uploads and I think I'm going to use this. This is a deep purple. So these three colors do still match, and as you can see, these sheets are running low. I've gotten good use out of these, despite I've been worried, actually, that because I tend to be a more pastel person, that maybe I wouldn't get good use out of them, but I'm branching out in my planner color palette, you guys, and it has been working quite nicely. So film, edit. And these sticker cis stickers, by the way, are glossy. All the rest of my stickers are matte, but that's okay. Like I like them well enough that I keep using them. Okay, so there's my plan with me. That's adorable. Okay, then in terms of reading, I do have my regular unplug reading night where I turn off the phone and ignore everything. It's wonderful. I've used these Planorama uh, flag stickers. I'm going to use this really deep purple. And what I've been doing uh, a couple times now is I go to the farmer's market, I go listen to music, and then I come home and I unplug with a book. And if that makes me sound old, it's because I am old, but I just love it. it it's so relaxing. I love my Sugar Loop uh, reading glasses. And I wear glasses all the time, but I think they just, I, I like the way this looks. Like I need to order some more of these. As you can see, they're running low. Okay, so when I plan, I always plan with tea and I've grabbed this Peaceful Mind Design Purple. By the way, that was the first time the camera stopped and that was at the 29 minute mark, which is where it's supposed to stop. So maybe using MP4 format has made it less grumpy. Okay, and I need to mark my dog's teeth, which I do every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And I have these Peaceful Mind Design. This is her neutral color palette. Um, I think maybe this time I'll use this darker, it's kind of a darker dusty blue. I just like that they're little, right? They're really unobtrusive, but they do a good job of reminding me. do that. Like I know at some point I'm going to have to have my dogs in for a dental, but dental cleanings are so expensive. But Okay, so for this week for trash and recycling, I have not used my Sweet Kawaii Design stickers yet. Let me just show you these. I did order two of these. They are super duper cute. So I'm going to grab the little trash and they're, they're blue and gray. So recycling that goes out Sunday night by the way so we put the little recycle guy I do sometimes have a hard time getting these off the page not because of anything other than my nails are I like my nails really short so that's cute 
my unplug stickers. Um, maybe I'll do a lazy day. What do you guys think? I haven't done one. Yeah, let's grab this. These are Peaceful Mind Design. There's Lazy Day and Unplug. So I'm going to grab the Navy, the Navy Lazy Day. Put that right up here. Yeah, because like not having to run around. Oh, you know what? The kit came with one too, you guys. Maybe I'll have two lazy days this week. Yeah, let's do another one. <laughs> I don't know how lazy I'll actually be, but lazy day means for me not having to set an alarm. So, okay. Yeah, that's cute. And then my unplug goes down here with my reading night. And I'm going to grab just this darker purple. I don't know if this is an accident, but this purple is a little darker than the other ones on the Peaceful Mind design. There we go. Um, yeah, so we'll put that right here. That's that night. Okay. And then I said this will be a, oops, I missed laundry day somewhere. There it is. My bad. Yeah, so laundry day, of course, is on Sunday. And for that, I'm going to grab, I think I'll go with the dark purple again. If you guys watch Plant Princess, she loves everything purple. And I'm not a super big purple fan generally. I mean, I don't dislike it, but it's not a color that I reach for all the time. But she does. So, Rochelle, um, I'm taking a page out of your playbook, sister, and all the purple things. I'm going to grab the lighter purple for the wash bedding. Right, so that does happen this time. Okay. Then I think, hold on. Uh, I need to grab a little scale because I do weigh in every Friday. And these are Peaceful Mind Design also, these really cute little guys. We'll just put that right at the top, just to don't forget. On my writing, I do track that um, with these little peaceful mind designs. There's a little pen and paper, put that right there. And my, I do publish my writing on a, a website hosted by Blogger, so I just put those two together. I like the way they look, layered, and uh, it's just cute. All I do is write the word write. So, okay, and then we're up to the reminders, the piece or the Mila print shop reminders. And I have the clean fridge one. These I just put in my organization in alphabetical order. I do these at the end of the week. So we'll put clean fridge, put that over here. Cause I think I have another sticker I need to add here. I do clip coupons first thing in the morning. I'm grabbing the purple by the way, and all of these, this dark plum purple. Fold laundry as soon as it comes out of the uh, washing machine and the dryer, I should say. This folding laundry, I don't know why I just dread it if I don't do it right away. If I just grab it when it's still warm, right, when it's just coming right out of the dryer, it's fine. Like I hang up the stuff that I'm going to iron and I grab everything else. But like if I leave it overnight, it becomes this demon monster that I just, I, I dread it. So... If I do it right away, right, as part of my checklist, it's fine. Unload dishwasher will also happen. So put that right there. And now we have the purple checklist of cuteness. Uh, I do need to add a water plants to my Thursday campus visit. And I'm going to go ahead and grab the purple one again. Put that right there. And that is really, really, really cute. So there's still some stuff that I can add to it. There is still so much left over. Like I hardly even put a dent in this kit. I don't, I was thinking about using the date covers. But I'm just not convinced I should. Like I don't love them enough to be like, oh my God, I have to use the date covers. So I'm gonna leave them off for right now. But this is what's left on this page. This is what's left on this page. 
this is what's left on this page, and then all of this stuff. So there, you get a lot of stickers in this printable, and it was really, really reasonable in terms of price. So apart from, I had to fight with it, you know, apart from having to fight with it a little bit, I um, I think it was actually a really good purchase. I really love the way it looks. I love the navy and the, all the dark purples. And I think this is uh, this is going to be a fun week. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments down below. And if you are not subscribed, please go ahead and click the thumbs up, subscribe. If you click the little bell, it will notify you when I post new content. I tend to do that right now. Um, Mondays for sure, though I do have quite a backlog of videos that I have filmed and not posted yet. So there will be more stuff coming your way. If you want to make sure that you see it quickly or on time or when I post it or whatever, please go ahead and just uh, hit the bell. It will notify you when I post things. So I'm also going to go ahead and include links to all of the shops that I used here down below as I usually do, along with my Erin Condren referral link. And if you are a new Erin Condren customer, and if you go ahead and click that link when you make your first order, and whether that's a life planner or a sticker sheet, it doesn't matter, it will give you $10 off your first order and it will generate a $10 off coupon to me when your order, your order ships. So again, it's not something that I want anyone to feel obligated to do, but if you are looking to try something new, it's a nice way to save $10. So thank you again for being out there and caring about this and your feedback, which has been so sweet. And if you do have questions, hit me up. I'm happy to answer. So thanks so much once again, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.